Colin Humphreys re-racks the reds. Ricky Walden has just stepped out of the arena for the moment. He still needs one more frame. Barry Hawkins hanging on by the skin of his teeth, having won the eighth to get back to 5-3, but he's still got to win the remaining three to turn this around. A tall order, but not impossible by any means. And Walden did have a chance to close out the match there. Missed a tricky little thin cut on the yellow. And Hawkins punished him. So this is how it's all looking as regards the draw. And of course, our second semi-final is coming up later on today. Sean Murphy, who scraped past Ben Williston in a scrappy but compelling match last night, will take on Mark Allen, who was rather more comfortable against Mike Dunn, winning 4-1. That's coming up at 8 o'clock Central European time this evening. You can watch it all with Dave Hendon and Mike Hallett. Winner of that to play the winner of this for the title tomorrow. Glitter ball doing its stuff. Best of 19 frames for the title. Over two sessions tomorrow. First to 10. And £100,000 to go with the winner's trophy. Seriously good money. And of course, the money equates to ranking points now which take immediate effect. Okay. So Thank an awful lot at stake nine. for these remaining four players. Barry Hawkins to break. That's a good break off. Maybe you could come off the left side cushion, land up into the reds. The path back to Bok, hindered by that red on the right side cushion. Cue ball has just come away from the red, so Barry just might be tempted by this red to the middle. Cue ball looks to be going close to the green pot. No, not close enough to the cushioned cue ball. Hawkins won this title two years ago.
and he wasn't originally supposed to be playing in it. He qualified by default after a withdrawal. From memory, it was Joe Perry who pulled out. Hawkins, getting a late entry, went on to win the title. Not so much a bird's eye view as a moth's eye view. thing isn't it having a wash well the reds are inviting for whoever gets in albeit that pink and black are currently not ideally placed it too thick now what can Ricky Walden do easy open up to the left middle the black is available but he'd like to get rid of that red that's closest to the black spot before taking it on the cannon to the red if that's what he played Um, I'm not sure which red he played for. Maybe that one behind the pink. Just got to play this with a little bit of stun to avoid the green, but not too much to get the pocket. 
Ricky Walton just made full. that a little hard, and I thought it was right from the first shot when he missed the cannon to the red next to the blue. Well, perhaps for the first time in the semi-final, Ricky Walden showing a bit of muddled thinking. Maybe the pressure is beginning to increase so close to the winning line. That was a good opportunity to at least get a sizable break. And that will encourage Hawkins. Well, oh. he's finished on the black, but a little fortunate, but this is still a tough shot. Doesn't have to play it. You can play the safety. If it were to miss this black, it could be his last shot. That's a good part. But I don't think he's on an easy red. Eight. Then again, it's right through the gap. Nine. Couldn't have landed any better. What a chance this has now become to close the gap to one frame. Twenty-four. The standard in this match has been excellent. There's been at least a 50 break in all but one frame. Twenty-five. And this could be a biggie as well. Much more importantly for Barry Hawkins, it could put him within just one frame of Ricky Walden. 4-1 and 5-2 behind. It was looking a bit grim, but Walden's going to start to feel the heat if Hawkins can do the job here. Screwed it by a good four or five inches. 32. Our friend's back. I can only assume someone's opened Johnson's wallet without telling him. Good recovery. I haven't got a wallet, by the way. <laughs> There's too much month left at the end of the money. 38. <laughs> this red on to the left corner. He could be going into the other red. And he's not going to know what's going to happen to the cue ball. And that red going over the middle pocket has made things very difficult. May have to just touch the black. Leave 
the cue ball on top of the other red, just below it. Barry Hawkins, There's not much else he could do that. Well, he'll be disappointed, Hawkins, because he knows, and that look tells you it was a chance to win the frame. As it is, a 35-point lead is handy. that shot last time round left the cue ball dead on the cushion which would have caused problems chose to roll up to the red it's important that Walden remains positive here there have been times in the past where you've got the feeling when he's looked for problems that aren't there he needs to continue in the same vein that got him into this strong position he's been outstanding for the vast majority of this match. Shouldn't have any self-doubts now. I might be able to play the cue ball in behind the pink. Uh, didn't want to risk moving that red to the right corner. Sounds like the rain's arrived in Manchester. Who'd have believed that? Reasonably good cue ball, but he's left a red to the left middle. And to the right middle as well. Neither of them are easy. Lots of pressure on it because that red just below the pink is going to be available. If he misses, but he didn't miss. And what a great shot that was. possibly the ground. Good red from Walden. What can he make from it? Four. That's proper rain by the sound of things. Five. There's no hole in the roof. Ten. Eleven. Now they're all there for the taking. Won't need the difficult pink.
18 Two points behind. Nothing safe. Nineteen. Was for a good positional shot on the black. Twenty-six. Oh, if you can hold easily for the blue, you could play down for the brown. And the green. Well, apologies for our temporary loss of pictures, one or two technical issues which we're trying to rectify as soon as we possibly can. We're back with you, and this is live. Apologies for the loss of pictures, but it's beginning to look rosy for Ricky Walden, as you can see. An excellent break, this. And he's now on the cusp. He needs the brown and the blue. And Barry Hawkins will require snookers. What a performance this has been by Ricky Walden. He's scored heavily throughout. He's punished Barry Hawkins' mistakes with frame-winning breaks. 51. So, 16 the difference. And I can tell you that that deluge that you may have heard on our corrugated roof here in Manchester was the cause of our loss of pictures, so apologies for that. They do get some weather in these parts. This is match ball, and he's missed it. He's only got and missed it. Walden, 51. A little bit like the shot with Sean Murphy yesterday, wasn't it? He caught it a little thick. He didn't play the brown as well as what he could have done, to be fair. Well, I've got to think that he got a kick there because he's missed it by such a margin. He didn't have to play any position. Didn't is this cuttable? Didn't even threaten the jaw, did it? Wow, what a moment. Ricky Walden seemingly closing out a victory. Barry Hawkins still alive by the skin of his teeth. Will it cut? It's thin. Doesn't look like it. Took the risk on the double kiss. Yeah. Well, there you are. He thinks he got a kick. And the cue ball cleaned. But really, it was the brown, wasn't it? He didn't get quite far enough down onto the blue. As you say, Joe, shades of Sean Murphy last night against Ben Wollaston. Murphy. Shorter pace on the blue. Missed the blue. Ultimately won the frame. Holden hoping for a similar scenario here. Sixteen the difference, eighteen remaining. And if Hawkins could somehow pot these remaining three colours, well, what a huge psychological blow that would be to Ricky Walden. Not going to be this shot, though. No attempt at the pot. Trying to get in behind the black. And just caught it a little thick. Well, they could try and get that cue ball in behind the black because a snooker would be as good as a pot. Pink safe, so 
if you did leave a long blue on, it wouldn't be a disaster. That's where he's played. Just caught it a little bit thin. Just take this blue on, cue ball's going towards the pink. He took it on, missed the pink. What a great shot. Terrific oh. shot. And a natural angle this to send the pink round the angles and in behind the black. Get any top spin on the cue ball. Barry He's got the pink box. safe. Ish. Alden walks around to have a look. It's a very thin cut if he was tempted. But it's all he needs for the match. Snooker's just as good, but a great <laughs> pot. Well, what a performance from Ricky Walden. He would have been a bit worried when he missed the blue, but there's no question he has deserved his win today, and that's what it means to him. Fantastic performance, made some big breaks, punishing his opponent's errors. He's through to the final, 6-3.